What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Filt from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. If this is your first time, welcome. Today, I want to talk about a little digital piece of software tool you can use to make beats. So let's get into it. What's up, everybody? So this is Geist. It's been out for a while. It's made by the good folks over at F Expansion. I just wanted to break it down a little bit. I don't know too, too much about it, but I do know that it is a sampler. So you can use it as a sampler software device. This is an alternative. If you don't want to spend all that major money for all the new stuff that's out now, try this. Just give this a shout. And there's a lot of videos on Geist, but I haven't seen any videos of using this as a plug-in. This can be used, this is the uh, the interface. This can be used as standalone by itself. You don't need nothing. But I'm going to use it as a plug-in within Pro Tools. I'm in Pro Tools. So all I did was I went over here. Let me see if I can move this. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I went to an instrument track. This is an instrument track. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually open up a new track so y'all can see exactly what I did. Create a new track. Instrument track. Mono. Create. Okay. So now this is my new track, and I'm going to go to my plugins and go to Instrument Geist. Okay. So now that's now I have two tracks of Geist. So let's go to the first track. I want y'all to see this, man. Y'all see this interface? You got pattern, scene, song, pad, uh, layers. And I'm not going to go through all this stuff. This is just a simple video, just, you know, kind of explaining how I use it or how I'm going to use it because I'm still learning it, to be totally honest. And I like what I've seen so far. So. I love how you have 16 pads. You know me coming from an NPC. You know, I'm an NPC dude, so I love to see this. You can actually layer, like, I think eight sounds per pad. And you have all these over here. These these are called engines. And you can have eight engines. Engines, I think, are like programs. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, so you can sample, slice, and do all that good stuff. So I got some drums that I pulled in. Let me go. Let me see. Is it where? Where is it? Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all hear, man. See, these these drums are taken from uh, very sick drums, and you can manipulate them and change them up and do all that good stuff, EQing and. You can change, you know, manipulate, adjust, and all this stuff. So, y'all see, I got my little MIDI controller here. And you can assign these to, to knobs and all that stuff just using, you know, MIDI assign. You click on this little area right here. And you can, whatever you want to change, for example, like, let's say you want to change the uh, the tune, right? So, you click on that and then go to the, the knob that you want that to manipulate or to affect. And... Boom, you just assigned it. All right, so let's test this out. See that? I'm using my knob on my control on my controller. And I want to make that snare a little tighter, so I'm going to just bring that in. Let me see. Bring that in. Boom, cool. All right, got a little hi hat. I'll just drag some of these sounds in here. 808. All right, so boom, I got that. Now you could do pattern sequencing and all that good stuff. And you know, I'm I'm not, you know, a mouse type of dude. I I like to use my fingers and just play it. That's just how I am. But you can do that and just you know tap in or dial in the notes or whatever. And it has all kinds of uh, swing parameters and all that good stuff. I'm not going to even go through all that. Anyway, let's go to this next track. Okay, track two. I'm going to drag that right there. 
and I'm gonna pull up some more sounds. Let's do that. So I'm gonna go to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go use this. This is from Very Sick Waves. Let's grab some guitars. <laughs> Okay, so I can um, drag to whatever pad I want. Okay, so I'm going to take that to, to uh, pad one. Hit this auto load. Boom. Let's try one more sample. I'm going to turn that off so I can find something else. Uh, let me see, maybe that one. Maybe. Auto load, hit it. Okay, so now I just I just made cool. So I can actually have those cut each other off. If I go to uh, choke mode. That's just an example of the stuff that you could do. I mean, it's just like an NPC, man. I mean, it, it lets me do, man. All right, so let me go back to the other track, drums and record drums. Give it a shot. All right, just that much. All right, so. I recorded some drums. Let me stretch this out. MIDI drums. And that, now let's go ahead and um, do another track using Geist again, but this time, see that? I'm going to use a guitar sample. And, matter of fact, I could use both of these. Could do something like that. Use something like that. Let me go ahead and make a loop. And matter of fact, let's turn off. Uh, let's turn off that click track. Mute and okay. Now this is not quantized at all. I could do all that later on, but I'm just showing y'all how you could quickly just. You know, record. Something like this. All right, so that's in there. None, nothing special I could add in more instruments and all that good stuff so I just wanted to show y'all how quickly you could do something like that you know I like it you know what I mean guys is this is something that I'm going to be incorporating more into my beat making process I think it's very convenient and I've only touched the surface of it I just wanted to show that little bit to you guys so like I said you can sample you can resample play audio files or what have you do a whole lot of stuff. it comes with its own sounds too by the way you can get more information just go go uh to the website i am an affiliate of these guys so full disclosure you can check it out here i'll leave the link down below check it out for yourself this is the price 
definitely a thumbs up for me. So I wouldn't tell y'all. Now, one thing I don't like about it is I, I don't like how you you can't really, even though that is pretty big. But what if I wanted to stretch it out to the whole screen? <laughs> and there is a little bit of a learning curve, as is everything. So, you know, try it out. There's actually a trial version, too. So check that out. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for stopping by. More to come. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.